What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Let's talk about cross tag battle. So if you guys don't know, the Arc System Works people do these little streams often called Arc Live. And it's been going on for like a week now and they barely put up the second episode. They stream it over on Twitch. I'll link it in the description below. And they talk about stuff with Arc System. So with their new offices here in America that they opened up last year, late last year, they are now doing streams and such that can kind of give us more information or just give us like a another side to Arc System here in America. Which is great because we can actually see things like Mori and Daisuke, anything that has to do with Arc System games, we can kind of get more, a little bit more information and directly to the American audience instead of just being in Japanese or in, J and in Japan and then translate it over to America. So the first episode of Arc Live, the weekly show that they've been doing for uh, a week now, the first episode was of a guy named uh, Peyton D. Pity. There we go. I always, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm so used to like um, P. Diddy, the rapper, that I'd, sometimes I get him confused. I think, I don't know. I don't know. But this is me and my, my brain, you know. But D. Pity uh, is a YouTuber that does like cosplays and stuff uh, on YouTube, not the, like covers cosplays and other things like that. Really cool channel as well. Link it in the description below if you're interested. He hosted the first episode of him and a person named Cloud805, which is a really good Marvel vs. Capcom player. He was probably my favorite Dante player to watch because he was so good. He was so much fun to watch. So he invited him over to the uh, to the American Arc System Works office and such and to play Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. <sighs> I'm not jealous, by the way. So they invited him over to play some Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, get some impressions, get some footage in with P. Diddy. Uh, D. Pity, I'm so sorry. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. Get some footage out there. Get some questions answered from the chat of, of the Twitch stream. I'll, I'll link that in the description below as well for whenever they do uh, pr future episodes as well of these weekly streams. And it was really cool. I actually really liked it. They showed off a lot of stuff footage wise, like for example, the Crush Assaults. The, some supers as well. Some some people were curious about like Hazama chains and how Azrael moved and Gordo and all these characters. The twenty quite characters are in were in that build that they were playing, which was really cool. They answered a lot of questions as well. So other than that, they really didn't answer any questions that we wanted answered, which I totally understand. Which is of course you know the pricing information, how the DLC is structured, the dub that's going on. That's the hot news right now. The dub. They said that they confirmed it, but it's actually not been confirmed. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, all that good stuff, uh, they not, not the real answers that we wanted, but I totally understand that, that they're, they're just there providing footage. That's pretty much it, and I really appreciate that. Fast forward to today was Arc Live Episode 2, or the second stream or the second show that they're providing weekly, um, which is what I'm guessing because they did this last week. They're, they're doing it this week. I'm pretty sure they're going to be doing this weekly from now on. I hope so, at least, because these are kind of cool. I like these a lot. This one included Mori and Daisuke, the developer of Guilty Gear and the developer of Blaze Blue and Cross Tag Battle. They were both there, which was really cool to see them there. So they did like a little bit of an interview with James Chin, a really good uh, or a really cool person in the fighting game community, commentator for Street Fighter. He loves Guilty Gear. So they invited him on there to kind of like interview them in a way uh, with a translator and uh, it was really cool to see them there and answering some questions from the chat, of, of course. I saw the whole chat and the whole chat was blowing up with questions about characters and these long questions. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, I feel sorry for that guy because he's not going to get his question answered. Even me, like sometimes I look at the chat and all I see is essays and I'm like, hmm, pretend never, I never looked at it. Mm -mm. But anyways, they did answer a bunch of questions, a bunch of things of the um, Blaze Blue Cross tag battle and just like personal preferences as well of Daisuke. Kind of gave us some insight on the development of uh, BB tag, which was kind of cool. Uh, but again, no real conclusive, you no know, answers to the questions that we have, the, the important ones at least. So the first thing is probably the most important thing, and then after this is probably just little things that I picked out. But the most important thing is that they kept alluding to the Thursday stream that's going to be happening this week, okay? So if you guys don't know, there's a monthly stream that happens for Arc System. They did this before uh, January or before the beginning of the year when they announced... Uh, Blake and the whole DLC fiasco with uh, the Arc System Awards trailer. Uh, before then, like in December, November, they kept it very consistent. Every month, there was a, a, a new 
character announcements every every month. That's usually the third Friday of every month, and they have actually confirmed it uh, via their Twitter that there's going they're going to be continuing on. So basically, they're going to be revealing more information. They said about the dub. They said they're going to be uh, revealing characters, the DLC, some DLC, DLC characters, and other stuff like that. A lot of information. They said there's a lot of questions answered this Thursday. So if you guys don't know, Thursday nights, uh, Thursday night, Friday morning. So like I'm talking my time. I'm in Mountain Standard Time. So me, it's like four o'clock in the morning, Mountain Standard Time, I'm like five Eastern and three Pacific. So I, I always do like these weekly streams. You guys see the reactions and stuff. That's from those streams that I run. Of me restreaming the event and reacting to it, so we're gonna be keep we're gonna keep going. So if you guys are interested, link link in my to my Twitch in the description below. You can hear all about it. So they kept alluding to that event, so I'm excited. This this Thursday is a really really good one because there's they said there's a lot of questions answered, and that's all I want. I want information about the state of Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle with now that Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle is gonna be at Evo. We just want to know more about you know like the DLC. The dub, the pricing, all that stuff. Like, I really would like to know. And of course, what are the characters? The characters. Now, before, I really wasn't interested in the characters because I was caught up in the whole DLC fiasco. And I'm kind of like past that right now, uh, unless they aggravate us again. But they, <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm excited to see what characters they're going to bring on. Hopefully, like more than three characters. They're, they usually do three. Hopefully it's four this time. I don't know. I just more characters the merrier really. So I'm excited. Let's see what happens on Thursday. Other than that, they asked them a bunch of questions like personal preference and stuff. Like what's your favorite Ruby character? Your favorite Blaze Blue? What was the hardest character to design? What's the um, who would win in a fight between like Mori and Daisuke in a video game? Stuff like that, which was actually I enjoyed. I enjoy these little like behind the scenes things um, that they do. Especially now that it's in an American audience or an American, like, um, I, how should I say, format. Because before they would do, like, you know, Famitsu doing interviews with Mori or something like that. They would have to translate over. And I like this format. They, you know, they stream it on Twitch and we got to get to see their reactions and all that good stuff. I liked it. I enjoyed it, to be honest. So they asked Mori, what was your favorite Guilty Gear character? And he answered, Order Soul. What? Okay, sure. It's Johnny, by the way. He's the coolest. And Pykin. Pykin's sick. But sure, order Saul. Whatever you say, Mori. Alongside that, they also asked him what his favorite Ruby character is. And he said that Ruby, and the same goes with Daisuke, Ruby Rose is like a character that really captivated them. They really hit home. And to be honest, I don't blame them. The first time I saw Ruby in that trailer, the first trailer that they announced Ruby in, you know, the initial four, when Ruby was first, when you first saw Ruby there, it's, it, I don't know, it just hits somewhere. And I'm like, man, this, this character's sick. The gun scythe, the Red Riding Hood concept that they had. It's really cool. I like it a lot too. Like I don't blame them for saying Ruby is their favorite character because it's a she's a really cool character. She's not my favorite character. Sorry, microphone, but she definitely is a really good character. So, but alongside that, you know that he thought that was like a cop out answer, but he said that okay, close second is probably Blake or Adam. Maybe. They also asked Mori what his favorite Astros were. He gave two answers. They, he gave a serious answer and he gave a funny answer. So his serious answer was Hakuman. He likes Hakuman's Astro. He likes the whole concept of, you know, the freaking being all white and just... <laughs> if you guys haven't seen Hakuman's Astro, I highly suggest you look it up on YouTube. It, or boot up Blaze Blue. Hey, buy it. And then his funny answer, or another one that he likes is Bang's Astro, which I agree 100%. Bang's Astro is great. He punches you so hard his clothes blow off him. And he thought that was this was really funny. He say also stated something similar to uh, people in the, in the office or people in the team for some reason like to work on like uh, physique or like muscles and such. So <laughs> making Bang strip like to his loincloth was actually a, a design on purpose that they wanted to this, you know, draw his muscles and physique and make sure he looks extra buff, you know, so I thought it was kind of funny. And then the last one, so I don't bore you guys to death with all these little things that I picked up from the stream. What was the hardest character that he had? Uh, what was the, 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 the toughest time he had designing a character? And he said Lychee and Ragna. And uh, I agree with this because 
you know, making a main character in your in, in your game is can be tough in general because it has to scream, okay, what was how is he gonna play like and how is he gonna look like? The people have to look at him and be like, oh, that's the main character. That's a box art character. So I agree with this 100%. And he also said something like, oh no, Daisuke was the one that said something. When they were in the office, Daisuke was in the printer and Mori had printed out like a hundred different or like a bunch, not a hundred, I'm over exaggerating, but like a bunch of designs for Ragna. He's like looking at the bottom of the printer. He's like, oh, there's Ragna. Oh, there's another design of Ragna. There's another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. So I thought that was really funny. I love these little things that they provide and just the, the little quirks that they have between each other. They look like they're really good friends, and I, I like the, the relationship, you know? It's kind of cool to see these two directors of these two really big anime fighting games kind of, uh, you know, like in the same you know, thing. I think that's kind of cool. I, I, I enjoy the stream rather a lot. Um, but that's pretty much it for me. That's all I wanted to say for today. Kind of like to let you know that the, about the Arc Live streams that they're doing. And I love the little interview that they had. And of course, the footage that they provided last week. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for me today, guys. All I got to say, if you're going to take a message out of this specific video, look out for the Thursday stream. Or for the, uh, I, think, I think it's called Arc Nama stream or something like that. Um, I am definitely going to be streaming it if you guys want to head out to my stream. On Thursday um, night, I'm going to be streaming on later on that night because I'm going to be staying up until the morning. So I'm going to be streaming a little bit later than my usual time. So I'm going to be playing stuff, I don't know, until the actual stream shows up. So head over and over to my Twitch if you guys want to see that. Head on over to their Twitch if you guys want to see more Arc Live streams and shows like that. I'm definitely going to be watching more of them in the future. So thank you all for watching. If you I have to say anything in this video if there's a specific set of people watching this video all I gotta say is what do I have to pay to sit in that couch to play blaze blue cross tag battle someone point me to the nearest person that can take me there I will fly out there in a heartbeat anyways that's gonna be it for me today guys I'm gonna be doing some more blaze blue cross tag battle breakdowns and all that stuff anything that suffices in terms of news you can definitely count on me to be covering it for you guys um, I'm going to be very excited to watch this Thursday stream so I can bring to you guys some more information and some more content for you guys as well. So, thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Do all that good stuff. Like the video if you guys do. We want to keep watch, uh, watching more videos similar to this one. Like the video. Subscribe. Like. Blah, 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 blah. The whole YouTube speech. Take it easy, everybody. I hope I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.